So the pygmy blue tongues are endangered species of lizard. Uh, they only live in South Australia and mostly in the mid north of South Australia. But they're endangered by uh, climate change. So in a 50 years or so, the modelling shows that the populations north of their range are going to go extinct. So we need to know how to move those lizards. So this is what this project is about, is trying to understand how we move lizards safely. So at the moment they're found from Kapunda up to Jamestown. Um, a lot of more populations are in Burra, that's the heartland of the pygmy blue tongue. Um, where we need to move them is, is further south. So with climate change, areas in the north are going to get hotter and drier, there's not going to be as much food around. So we caught animals in the wild a couple of weeks ago, they've been in the animal house being looked after. We're moving those here today, so we're releasing lizards, we've put in burrows, we've put in them in inside enclosures, um, then we're releasing the lizards. The project's a five-year project, so we're going to be monitoring over that five-year period and um, hopefully we'll get recruitment, we'll get um, young um, you know, babies coming in the, in the coming seasons. Um, if that all goes well and they survive, the, the idea would be to probably take up the enclosures and let them you know, um, survive in this landscape. So what we're going to do with these lizards is, uh, on a monthly basis, is record uh, their presence and um, try and catch the lizards and see how their weight is, see if they're lost weight or gained weight. And we're going to also monitor what temperatures they bask at, trying to understand whether the animals where we're moving from different areas are actually doing the same sort of thing in this, in this, in this one um, environment. Probably one of the biggest things we're worried about is understanding whether some um, birds of prey might come in, uh, maybe some corvids, magpies and crows, and they might you know, spot something novel and then try and um, see if there's you know, something there to investigate. So they survive on sheep farming lands, they, in, they seem to need that level of grazing to, to be able to bask and to find food. Um, so it, we're extremely reliant on farmers' um, cooperation in this process. It's a fantastic uh, process to be able to have a farmer who's very willing to be involved in this. Uh, and from day one, from talking to the, the farmers here, we certainly had the feeling that they were on board. When I was approached um, with the idea of the project, I just thought, yeah, why not? It doesn't impact what we're doing. Um, and I just think it's a, it's a good thing to encourage. Our house is not far down the road, so we can keep an eye on things. And yeah, it's good for the kids to see science in action and actually experience it firsthand.